Free Time Zone, your book review podcast. Enjoy! Hey people, this is Renee, Bridget, Felicia, and we are in episode 19. Woohoo! <laughs> This is August 2020. Um, our book of the month was Marry Me Twice by Monica Walters. Girl, this is yes. get into it. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I only read um, one of her books before. And I told y'all about it. And y'all was like, nope, I'm not reading no cowboy hood stories. I don't want it. No. And I was like, but it was so good. It was eight seconds to love. Y'all will fall in love with Legend. That's his name, I'm telling you. But whatever. I don't know about that. We so <laughs> finally got her <laughs> on the list. You would. I'm tr- trust me, because I, I, yeah, whatever. Was, I won the cowboy for a second. I was like, wait a minute. We finally got I want an African. <laughs> I so want an African, right? <laughs> you want a what? An African. I want me um, an African. <laughs> and I ain't never won one of those. She got me. <laughs> but we finally got to read Monica Walters and I'm so glad that we who chose it? Bridget chose this this book right chill I chose but what? I ain't gonna be a hot tamale like that my gosh I don't know you chose it though so hmm. I did no I did <laughs> nowhere did it say it was gonna be like this until you opened the, the first book. page exactly. she told you on the first page actually it I know and Bridget you read that I no, did not. She <laughs> <laughs> went to the first one. Hey, we're going to read this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she read the first page, like, yep, this it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is really good. It was really good. Not just the, the spicy parts of it, but it was a good story. Like, I really enjoyed it. And the spicy parts was like literally the whole book. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. <laughs> It was a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, it, it ain't over took ain't lying. That <laughs> stuff, I was like, hey. It was a lot of it, but it was good. You know, it's crazy how somebody can write so many erotic scenes in a book, and they don't seem like the same thing. It means it's, it's like it's the same action, of course, but it's like I'm not reading something right. repetitive. Like it feels like, right. <laughs> like you know, right. Um, Cause yeah, that, that was like every time it was, it was a little different, you know. Or you just you just you didn't you wanted to read it. <laughs> it's like oh, we add it again. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, add it again. Yes, like every yeah, every. I was wondering when it was that, that time of the month was gonna come. I'm like, bruh, it ain't never come. <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so okay, starting off, I'm just saying that. Um, with a girl named Chanera. That's how I said it. That's how you said it. I called her pretty, pretty black doll. Or the whole book. I don't, I don't even like that name. I didn't either. I I just don't like it. Um, I just picture just, her in this dark, beautiful, just. I can see her dark. from what he just. Yeah, I can. Today. Yeah, I can see her, but I I don't I didn't like him oh, always calling name. her that. Leave yeah. my bay alone. That's her name. <laughs> Her yeah. name is Chinera. That's her name. Yes. Yeah. So, anywho, I thought that she was going to be this um, kind of um, where she was from and they didn't have much money and all that, but I just thought she was going to be sort of quiet and um, not so doggone freaky. That's what I thought. <laughs> After five years, but, but I'm, I'm like, Good Lord, um, she done changed from the uh, instant. We only saw the nice, to me, the niceness of her at the very beginning. You can't be nice and freaky. What, what's wrong? You the like niceness you was gone. Everybody. No, I'm not saying this. No, no. I'm just saying her demeanor to me. That's what I was like at the beginning. I didn't think she was going to be the freak that she was from the beginning. Lady in the street. So, Right? And the freak in the bed. That's what your mama always say. <laughs> okay, she did so that. Did. Your mama nasty. She is, though. She is nasty. <laughs> she, she, needs, she needs to read this book. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my perception of Chanera changed as I was reading, yeah, after the first, what, 
couple of chapters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That means yeah. it was good. What's your first impression of Haji, Talisha? I loved him from the beginning to the end. That's bae. I didn't like him in the beginning. I did. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't like him at the beginning either. Go on, Ash. Go ahead, your turn. It's like, I just don't like that type because I can see him. You know what I mean? Dang. Y'all didn't even like, let me explain why I like him. <laughs> you stop. <laughs> I thought you were right. <laughs> I just like, like him. Why why you like him? No. Nah. Mm. So I like everything about him. And uh, I got to breathe when I'm talking about him. You know, I got to oh, know. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I like that. So you know how when guys are players, like sometimes women don't really know. He was a whore, but he wasn't like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just, I liked how. He was a I just, sensitive whore. <laughs> a sensitive one? I feel like he was an honest, like, whore. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, so look. That's why you like him? Yeah, I liked how honest he was. And then all them scenes, I love all that. And I got a kid. I'm talking about first impression. I, right? Not, <laughs> not after the African D came out. I'm talking about that's what, now, that's what she wanted to say that she yeah. liked. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Look at her face. I can't even hey. <laughs> Monica did that. Okay, so um, I didn't like him because, of, like I said, and you know what's funny? I went to Lamar University. That was the first university I ever went to. Yes, you did. And it was only for a semester, but I, I did go to one of them parties, and I, I never went again. Um, one of them uh, capital parties. Wow. It was just, it wasn't my scene because it was a lot of uh, hajis in there. So... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh no. But um, I thought that was funny. Uh, I just I could see that that type because it looks like to me I can see him as being like a capital. Like I can see him being like one of those guys. And that it's just a turn off to me. Right? I like yeah. I like now I like people, I like them to be like him when ain't nobody watching, but to also be humble. <laughs> But he he was out there in them streets and he but could, he could you know and the stuff with his daddy or whatever so he just he re rubbed off like he, he didn't even go to the room and they came to him like he can have what he wanted and I don't like a man act like that sometimes right right but I mean the honesty part that Talisha was talking about came out to me when he met the uh, the Kylie girl oh. and um. You know, he realized what type of girl she was, and she was the only one of him for sex. And I guess, you know, he was he was like, I right, I'm good with that, whatever. But that sec it was like the second time or sometime they had done it, and he took her to some the dungeon or whatever room in his the a room with a stripper pole in his house. Like, you know mm -hmm. what he told her <laughs> Shut the F up. I was right? like that. I was, I was like, okay, I kinda like him at that because like that's the honesty. Like he'll he literally will say whatever's on his mind. Um, except when it came to Tanari at first. But I thought that was funny. Um but I did like that he was successful. I did like that right. he had every you know, like he had a good head on his shoulders. He was just, you know, having sex with everybody. <laughs> I mean, that was like the only but I mean he was a single man and hey. Exactly. <laughs> but, <laughs> Yeah, he he was pretty. He was he was definitely a catch. I feel if he could be like, you know, be with one woman and stay with one woman. He can be I and stay. Know. He oh, with me. Goodness. He was just having his fun until I got and here. He wanted that too. He wanted exactly. that. So I thought that was that was good. But he was like, I ain't I ain't gonna wait around for it though. Yeah, right. <laughs> like a pretty pretty black dog. A lot. Like she was dope. Like, I thought she was gonna be a little like I it was almost to me, I felt like she was gonna pull herself up by her like bootstraps. I thought she was gonna do it on her own and like right. hey, this just happened, but I'm about to ba da da and then she was gonna, you know, bam. <laughs> I thought oh y'all know what I'm saying? Like I ain't think that she was gonna end up 
rock anybody, bottom like that. Yeah, yeah, like rock bottom is one thing, but I thought she'd be able to, but it was real. Like it happened so fast. And she was like, yeah. what she could do. Um, but I was rooting for her. I think that happened every day. Like I didn't think she was gonna be able to do it because, like, when you overqualified and then the job that you are qualified for and not hiring, like, it's hard. Like, yeah. and when you overqualify for something, it's like they don't want to hire you because it's just like soon because they already know as soon as uh your job you know start hiring again, you gone. They want somebody that really uh gonna stay you know at the job that uh that she was hiring for. I, I mean, applying. Gone. Make some. So I thought she was help, you know. I, that, that's what I was. I thought she was going to back home. I never thought she was going to get with him because she this his ass. She was like, get out my face. Yeah, she could go back home. She could see that he was a player type, and she wasn't for that. And I just love no. her. She but yeah, some real. I thought, <laughs> she's like, you a hoe? I don't want that. Like that's right. not. She me. had on me, and you know, oh. when he saw her, you keep. What I didn't like again was when he saw where she really was, how low she was, how she had a a food stamp card, and how like he was talking about her like, dang, you know, I ain't know that you was this low that you ain't have nothing, and how she was all that. I was like, you know what, bro? He did not talk bad about her. What are you talking about? I felt that he was. Yes, when he's he like, was talking he's like, to. Let me yeah, when it came out, but the you know, like the background as he was talking, I was like, he was hurt mm. that he was getting this. He was like, man, she uh getting this by somebody that, that, uh, that she, when she uh only went out with him to eat. He was like, man, she uh she only you know she used me for food. Like, and women do that all right. the time, even the ones that got money. So he felt played. Like I felt like it was so real. Like, don't talk bad about him, okay? <laughs> <sighs> I, 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 like I know what you're talking about because it was it was the part when um she was <laughs> poor baby she was trying to make it with that no. that, uh, that meat and the, the spaghetti stuff and a piece of gum the pack of <laughs> I'm so sorry it's not she like, burned I'm, I'm so bad. I'm funny. so sad for that it, it's been you know um she had to take the gum and I'm like this fool had to come right behind her like are you freaking right. kidding? And he had to have all his seafood and stuff. And I'm sitting here with this. And I'm like, Lord, please. He offered for her to come over. I felt like I, that was me using that card. Like, please right. don't take it. Please. Like, you should have known. Take the, she thought about take the gum off. And then that fool, right. I don't like how the cashier going to say it out loud. Because <laughs> I know she did. <laughs> I can see that. I know that. she did. I know she did. But for her to like do, you know, when he said, you know, you can't even afford, a th- you know, some gum, basically. Yeah. I, that's what I see what you're saying because it seemed like nigga. I, I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was just the way I because I, I felt that too because it was almost like you he was looking down, but it was just how yeah. it was said. But right, I know right, that right. he wanted to help her, but it's like how you gonna be this hard? How you gonna deny me like a you know to talk to you and you can't even afford a piece of gum? That's how I took right, it. Right, right. That's but what I'm saying. I didn't see him as a bad person, but it was just like in that moment, like this half got nerd. You know, she got pride. That's what it right. is. I'm trying to say, but she did. Um, and that's good to have, like regardless of where you at, top of yeah. bottom. But like, for, for him to feel that way, like I'm just trying to help you, and you just gonna, you know, you know, you need it. You know, you hungry. Don't do that. <laughs> what? He, it, I feel like he liked her pride. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> it showed him, like you know, like. I want to do this on my own. I don't, I don't know. You know? Yeah, but some men, you know, they feel like you, you should you should accept their help, especially if you need it. Um, and she had reasons why, because what she said when she was in, in um, college and she couldn't afford her books, and this boy helped her. Right. And he expected her to pay him back. Right. <laughs> you know, in ways that she wasn't, you know, down for doing. So she has her reasons of not just trusting somebody to help her just out of the kindness of their heart, because people... People can do that, but she's experienced the other side of that. Right. Especially if it's a fine man who you're attracted to, but the way he coming at you like that, like, nah, man. Mm, fine. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I see a tall, like, Tyrese when she mentioned that pretty smile. Tyrese. I was like, Ooh, yeah. Yes. Wow, mm. yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm, that's bad. You know, I love me some Tyrese. He's tall too, though, but he's like a tall version of. Yeah, I love me some Tyrese too. Mm-hmm. But yeah. But he got a beard. Got mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yes. Oh. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm married. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So what happened after that? Because because he he grabbed her in the um parking lot to tell her like she he was just trying to help her, you know, right. not knowing why she acting the way she was acting. Um, because she tried to walk off after he paid for her her gun. But uh, she don't know you, dude. I see you trying to help, <clears throat> but she don't know you. No. You don't know what your motives are behind wanting to exactly. buy her food like, and invite her. As women, we understand why she's doing it. You know, how, how why she's so hard to get. Like, you just, you, <laughs> you ain't finna just come in here, you know. And again, he could be expecting something for it. But I, like I said, right. I don't know you. And I don't know what you want and why you, what, go at. Like, I, I'm, I'm here on my own. I've been on my own. I'm going to deal with this. Um, right. But uh, that was before she got evicted. Yeah, no. No, man, I, I really felt bad for her. It just went down, down, yeah. down. No food, no place. No, did she have a phone? She had a phone. And she had to live in her she car. Her I car. felt real bad for her. Yeah. And I was like, dang, you know, and the thing was, um, so Haji was in the U.S. for 14 years, and he became a citizen. She was in the U.S. for 10 years, and she was there with her aunt, but her aunt had passed away two years prior. So she's literally there now by herself. And she's trying to cover with the job. She was able to, you know, take care of her bills, but without one, right. like anybody else, um, that's when things started to go down. And, you know, that's a, that's a hard process and a long process to try to find something when you already had these bills. Um, so yeah, that that happened, and I thought she was gonna, you know, sometimes you just root for like just a miracle to pop, right. like before the bad stuff. But you know, whatever. So she she got evicted, and she moved everything to um, a storage unit, and she was gonna sleep in a car, um, which was horrible. But she went to a truck stop, and I was like, okay, well, at least she gets to like, you know, sleep hey, you, you can't stay here, boo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she had to move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was horrible. She ended up. What did she? She parked in the. Oh, she oh, went back horrible. to the apartments, right? To her apartments and uh, parked in the parking lot. Yeah. And how he find her? He. She, she went, went to, to uh, get some stuff for her hair. Huh? She went to the. She went to a beauty uh shop to get some stuff for her hair. To continue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. You know, he seen all the stuff in there. He was like, "Man, come on." She didn't think that he was there, so she was like, oh, good. Like, I can get up here and get out. But she didn't know he had more than one car. So <laughs> <laughs> he was in a different car this time. And he's standing there. Like, the way he came off is like, like, like something like you know me type of situation. Like, you come off and you come in here. He's standing there waiting on her to come out. You know, it's almost like he's, like, just jumping to protector mode of her. Before you know, I mean, they had uh, went to lunch before prior to that because remember she was looking for a job. No, she uh, she had went to a job interview at Verizon. That's right. That's right. She went. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. She went to that um the uh, Verizon with the uh the the Kylie girl. Oh yeah, yeah. Right there. I knew that was gonna be something at some point. I was like, oh crap, because if she ended up getting a job, that I saw her getting the job and then the whole fool acting dumb. I saw that. Like on baby, that's what I thought too. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> on baby boy, when he almost slept with her coworker, and the coworker looking at her stupid. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought happened. But, um, but he wasn't gonna do that. He wasn't gonna be sleeping with both of them. He's not like that. No, mm -hmm. not both yes, of them. He, he already was. slept with one. He already slept with, he he slept with the other one. So you think what if he's in a relationship, is. he's gonna sleep around? No, uh, I don't. Sleep. I'll be, he, yeah, I don't. I think he would have. Like, no, yeah. he didn't, and he didn't, <laughs> and he haven't. You see, you see, when they um they wasn't together, but she was living in there when she first moved in, and he got mad, and then he was like, "I'm gone." She told him, "Whatever, oh, be around. That's how like, Dang, I really wasn't, but since you say I am, Whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and do how you feel like I am." He like, was such a weakling yeah, for that. He was such a weakling for that. Yeah, do that. No, she ain't had to uh, go off on him. <laughs> but all right. <laughs>
I didn't like that. <laughs> I was like, I know this. He, he really went over there. I was like, all right. And yeah. I'm like, dog, you can't hold it together? I thought he was going to get there and like, you know, no, nah, I maybe not. You know. He had plenty of opportunities to turn around, but he didn't. I thought she was going to text him like, bro, like, stop playing with me. But. I ain't know what he wanted. Mm-mm. So, it's all yeah. new to her. She's scared and happy at the same time. You know, she had a place to stay, sleep. Nice place, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Food to He's eat. It's like, uh, it's a four bedroom. It's five because, you know, I share mine. <laughs> <laughs> like, you want to sleep here? <laughs> like, and it's like he really felt bad for her. Yeah. I like how persistent he was with her. Like, if she did, because, like, after the first time with her distance, I thought that was it. Like, you know, that was just, you know, she was going to call her or something to get back. <laughs> but no, she, none of that had to happen. So, his brother are, Kevin. <laughs> his what? His brother. And his so dad. His, his dad died before all of this. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> before the girl moved in. Yeah, his 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 dad had his oh, yeah. dad was sick and he went to Africa. He went back to uh, uh, Freetown, I think it was Sierra Leone, and oh, yeah, he was back there with his family. And he said two days after he got there, his dad had passed away. A dad who he felt basically abandoned him emotionally, like they weren't there for him the way he wanted them to be. Not you know, proud of what all the accomplishments he's made because he's a freaking chemical. I love you, I'm proud of you. None of that. Six, six figures a year, taking care of himself, doing his own, you know. It's Never came to visit him. Mm -mm. Just you know, trash. Act like they were just so mad at him for becoming a citizen, like they betrayed the, <laughs> the family and stuff. You know, they made, him, they made him feel like trash, like for real, but he still went back and he had to deal with but his, his brother Kevin, his big little brother. No, his little big brother. How you say it? It's the middle brother, but he's smaller. He's older, but he's smaller. Yeah, <laughs> he's two years older, but he uh, he's smaller than him. Oh man, yeah, Ooh, that, I, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, when we found out what happened, I didn't think that. I was just like, I don't know what, like, because I know how, like, some most of the time it's the uh, I don't know, like, it's most of the time, like, it's the baby baby that gets spoiled, but it's never like the middle child that gets spoiled. So I'm just like, yeah, it was weird. I didn't understand. I didn't understand either. I even wrote down where I, that chapter. I'm like, I'm I'm going back and reading it again, and I'm going. I'm like, wait a minute, who is the who is his parents? At first, I thought, now nah, my mind was first. I thought <clears throat> that the parent was the daddy. His daddy was his daddy. That's and then the mama wasn't was his daddy's sister. The mama, he the mama well, was. You had to read that part twice, right? More than twice, because I. Because when he said um, about my biological father had told me to, I'm like, wait, wh wait, who? And he said about a sister. I'm like, wait, 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 what's happening? Yeah, I'm like, the incest going on here? Yeah. What's going on? I, I wasn't, I didn't get that right away. Not yeah. till they told me at the, toward the end where, I, you know, everything, the story unfolded. But then when I was reading it, I was like, something else got to come after this because this ain't making no sense. You know, it was like, okay, so I don't know where, once I was trying to figure out why he was not getting treated the same, especially after how his dad um, left all of them with a million dollars a piece and jewels and yada, 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 and pieces of business. But he couldn't have nothing until he was married for at least six months. But everybody else got theirs. Like, right, yeah. And I'm like, okay, God. is he adopted? And I was like, no, because she said he looked too much no. like a big brother. So I'm like, okay, is like somebody ain't the real parent i'm like and i'm thinking it's like could the mama have stepped out and had another baby yeah i was thinking that too um uh, something so like that look like you know his brother with the same mom i'm like what why do they hate like what the dad why was he why so they hate him so much him? yeah like why was he so hard i'm thinking of all these different things and yeah um i didn't think what had happened what had happened but yeah that was that was rough for him to go and it's higher He's like his entire life like that. And then his, what was Kevin's problem? Wow. He, already, he need his ass whooped. Like, he got threatened, but he didn't get beat. He needs to get beat, man. Like, you know, they, they in their 30s, bro. Like, you've been, you almost 40. <laughs> and grow up. His entire life. 
and you know the truth. It would have made so mad. That was just so give me a reason. Weird for for them for him to know. But in cat, I mean, um, Haji the only one that did know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand why families keep secret secrets about adoption. Yeah. Why do they do that? And the adopted I mean, kids is the one who knew. Like, so what was right. the keeping that from <laughs> Haji? Like, I don't understand. And then they say that they spoil Kevin so much that they pull back on doing that for Haji because they wanted him to be stronger and want it like right. I, I understand that wholeheartedly. Like, because mm -hmm. when you they have no uh no time to have any type of emotions but happiness like it's you're gonna get sad in your life you're gonna like like they just covered him and he couldn't like do anything without them like he wasn't had no dependence um, he depended on them that, but there's but, other but ways. they went too far yeah like there's, there's they should have chilled out with kevin too like to help him right they should have gave him a little more tough love then, like after they figured, like, oh, this too good. Wait a minute. Um, but then you just go complete opposite with the baby to the point where I definitely did it though. He <laughs> him. Like he he did all these things. I'm sure like a lot of things were to over like to compensate for well, shoot, okay, because I've done it too. Like you have to be like this great kid because you feel like you don't belong, or you feel like you have to do more than a, a, the other ones because you know things are different for your circumstance. And um, he did that. He did school. He got his money. He did like he ain't got no debt. Like you know, he's living this great life that any parent would be proud of their child for being like accomplishing all these things, right. and it still wasn't good enough. Nope. And, and I felt it, like that made it, it seem like it wasn't good enough. They didn't treat it like it was good enough. But they, I hate that. Don't. Oh, I hate that when when parents like ignore the kid. But then you want to brag to your other like friends and other stuff about oh my kid this my kid that my kid, but you don't do, you, do your kid know <laughs> right like you feel know, what especially when they ain't got no they had nothing to do with the accomplishments or the greatness that your child is, and do you want to brag about right. the kid what you do How, what you do kiss <laughs> me off and make me have to fight for my <laughs> like. <laughs> Ugh, hey, hey, Ashley, who you talk about? <laughs> I'm talking about two people who brought me in this girl who be acting like, oh, she just this. One. I'm so proud. I'm so young. Yeah, you know, I did this because y'all left me. And I had, <laughs> I had to, you know. Anyway, that made me mad. I'm getting all hot right now because I, I felt like that a lot. <laughs> Let me calm down. Um, so, yeah, so he finds out he has to get married. He was he was so mad. Like, he wasn't even going to come to the, the reading of the well yes brother please like just just at least just do that you know he was supposed to stay there longer but he's like he got time for these people and i get it so yeah um then we go back to you know chanara living at their at his house you know he helps her after he saw her living in her car and his barber was like serious? you should no. marry her and get this money <laughs> right. oh that made me mad too why wow. like i didn't like neither one of them i ain't like jerris i ain't like uh haji trying to um know the girl is desperate and then you want to say okay well if you do this then i see he didn't want it to come off like that like haji was like no i'm not doing that because he liked her and if he did that that was a possibility that it would put her in this position as if this, this is the only reason why i'm here but he wanted her to you know know that he he, he let her know <laughs> First off, let Haji tell me he gonna give me a hundred thousand, marry him for six months. You gonna have to, uh, you you gonna have to make me leave, and you giving me half because I ain't going nowhere. But <laughs> give me half. You got a million. Now, Tanara, she wasn't that type of lady. She wasn't that type I, of lady. That's why he wanted her. <laughs> Cause please, I I um I didn't get mad at him uh asking her that because like a lot of women would would jump for the opportunity. And he knew some who would. Um, yeah, I know some. Me? <laughs> no, I, the, it was just the conversation that they had, Jarius and uh, Haji, when he when Jarius mentioned asking her about it. You know, well, man, she'll probably jump on it because she ain't got nothing. She need, you know, because he was it's telling her, girl. telling him about how he took her to lunch and, and, and what Some he said. Yeah, talking about um, those damn. He was hurt. He was like, "Man, she don't even no. like me. She just wanted no. some food." 
Yeah. <laughs> He's making me mad. I love him, man. That's babe. No. no. <laughs> he didn't have to tell him all that. No, he didn't. Come on. So y'all don't be telling y'all friends everything? No. No, no not like that. Because it, it makes her look bad. Like it, It's like you're yeah. talking bad about her. And no. Yeah. No. It make you look bad just because you went through something? Like you no, it's struggling. the way he's talking about it. It's like this girl feels starving. Like she ain't got no. Like she ain't got nothing. Like don't do all that. Don't there ain't no point mm-hmm. in doing all that. You know she fell on hard times. Keep it at that. Right. And um, it's the same thing, but whatever. No, it's not. No, it's because you keeping you keeping the wise and what's going on private. Right. Um, right. Cause Jerry is he know everything. Okay. Every, every. <laughs> so, but then like that's that's his, that's like his brother. I mean, you know, exactly. Right. Like he he on the internet talking about her. No, I mean, I just... like like day. He ain't doing that. Day. Mm. He just talking to his friend. It's good to have somebody to talk to. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I agree um, with that. Okay, so they up in his house together, and he he just can't keep himself to himself when it comes to her. She's always awakening something in him, and it, but it's not until she says, you know, that she doesn't want him to sleep with other people you know, while they're, you know, I guess working and figuring out what they're trying to but do. But we gonna skip the part with, uh... What? <laughs> huh? I'm just talking about the first night that she was there. What about it? Oh. Y'all act like y'all remember. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, that's the bad. Bridget. That's that when she too. was in her, her bedroom, uh, pleasing herself, but, uh, calling out his name, and he was oh. on the opposite side of the door telling her that he could do way more than what her fingers could do. 10 times yeah. he said 10 times more <laughs> so he said, okay but i like that he like he said what he had to say about it but he didn't mention it in the morning like i like i thought that was pretty cool it's just she got a lot let me tell you something okay <laughs> but all that he was offering her like i don't think i would have held out as long as I'm, i don't know it's no i wouldn't have held out because i mean you only live once and you're already there. <laughs> I was like, you're already, you know, I don't know. That was yeah. too much. And then you caught me doing that. And you know that I like, because I'm saying your name at it. I probably, mm-hmm. just, when he came in there to tell me that, I was like, all right, come on in. Show me something. You know, because. I, I, I like that she waited until, like, they let it be known that, hey, you're not messing with nobody else. It's just, you know, me and you. Like, that was dope. That happened, with, like, the next day. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess I could have waited another day. I don't know. But <laughs> I felt like that was cool. Like, man, forget you. Yeah, I like you so I'm still gonna please myself. Like, I don't want you like that. I could do this myself, even though I want you. Like <laughs> she was stubborn and just I just love it, man. I love both of them. Okay, so no, yeah, okay, the, you, uh, see, you told her about the um the proposed the proposition or whatever they went to Chick Fil A. First of all, he can just stop hating on Chick Fil A, right? Hated on it twice. Listen, he just look. He asks and take you out on a date. And you say Chick Fil A. He just like no, I'm gonna take you to my dog on Chick Fil A. For lunch, lunch date. It's we can go. Listen, yeah. she was hungry. Yeah. Feel, yeah. But, like for her in that situation, when she came out of that interview, you know, she 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 was hungry. Um, you can just go to drive through, give me something, bring it to me, and I'll go by my way. I ain't to do nothing with you. <laughs> she didn't want to do no, you know, sitting up with that man. Yeah, he did the proposition that the, when they found him with the Chick Chick fil A, and she had to think about it. I thought she was gonna think about it longer. I did too. Like, dang you. Because of how she's been acting, like, I, I really put, I, man, it's just so much that she's going through, and that money could help. And it's not like he's some old, nasty man, you know, he's someone that <laughs> you're attracted to, right. you know. And, and, and this is family, family, but 100 grand. Yeah, this could be something more, you know, of course, because I mean, the situation's how it's playing out, and then it can help your family and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it almost is, it, it, I see how it can feel dirty. Yeah. Um, I got yeah, I like how she said that she's like, I don't know if I'm using you or you using me. Like it's just yeah, yeah. And he's just like, Well, I liked you before then, so I'm not <laughs> using you. And you know, I could have you know did this with you know he's like, but I don't know if you're using me. And she didn't say nothing. I was like, Yes, make him sweat a little bit. Like <laughs> okay. um, but she agreed. She agreed to get, you know, do the 
marriage, they have to be married. He said, like, wait till, like, seven, eight months or something. So it won't mm. be, like, right on the dot for six months. And then get a no. But we all knew it wasn't going to happen. That way ain't nothing going to get a no between them two. Uh, they both were saying, like, you know, they probably get tired of each other. Or, like, he might be getting tired of me or she might get tired of me by the end of six months, you know. So it might not work. Nah. I didn't see that not working. I ain't worked out. I was waiting. I was, I was waiting for something. I'm like, something gonna happen. Something gotta happen. But nothing. I thought something was gonna pop out from somewhere. I don't know for her family or his side. Donovan. It was just going so smooth. Donovan. Yeah, Donovan. Yeah. I was like, who is this dude? Like, I mean, I knew who he was because she worked with him. But I was like, he really goes screenshot and the, then posted up like the screenshot thing. That happened after she had some problem with Ky- Kylie or like when it was like she could feel the energy from her. So I was like, yeah, for some reason, I'm like, OK, could they could he know Kylie? Could it be a, a way that they're trying to plot, do something stupid? That's all I thought. I thought it was like, something like that. Why would too. he do that? Uh-huh. Like, still right. to this day, why did he do that? I, I mean, know. we could tell that he liked her because when she got fired, he ran out like, hey, I can help you, but she just <laughs> didn't take it. And then she ended up taking, you know, ended up getting married like that. I mean, if, you know, okay. ended up getting engaged. She like, dang, man, like, I try, I shot my shot. Like, what's up? Like, that's messed up. I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, you but yeah, I, I thought it was weird, too, for him to like, do that. I'm think, I thought Kevin was behind it. Like, I was just, I said, oh, Kevin, I looked up people that they, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's yeah. what my mind went. Like, somebody <laughs> had to put him up to that. Because why would he do that? Right. That's so stupid. You found out she, she's engaged. And you going to put back? And they was going to save Ronis into marriage. But he was hmm. just like, nah, who is this? He got that test back, so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Whatever's going to happen, you know. But yeah, like the the issues that came up, like from outside, weren't, and you know they weren't like big issues because they didn't they really didn't mean nothing. But it was just like people trying to get in between. Um, but they didn't do nothing because both of them shut them both down. Um, mm-hmm. Kylie got you know told by herself, you know trying to talk to uh what's the name <laughs> Janara after that second interview and Ruby Black. What happened <laughs> with that second interview? That, uh, she got told or told that she was going to get a call from somebody because like working at Verizon was that was kind of beneath her right. as far as what the other woman said she was like uh this is not where you should be you should be you know doing this other marketing position getting out you know and Kylie had some feelings about that and this is after that uh Haji posted the engagement photos so yeah now people know he got somebody and now she in her feelings and she thinks she want to say something so girl so she went off, man. She said, like, <laughs> she "Oh off. man, Tanara ain't no punk, okay? Yeah. Don't punk. <laughs> she ain't no punk." How uh, punish uh, Chanera after you saw that picture man posted on social media? That was a punishment to you. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. He, he so- said. It was more like he was scared that it was now a possibility that she could leave him or like it could be somebody else in the picture that could take him, take her from him. Because I think like he, he he came home and he did all that, but what do you think of his punishment? I don't know. Maybe he wasn't talking to her really leading up to it. He just told her to come in there and, and then to get in the shower, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was some sort of something mm. i didn't see that um well i, I mean thought, he, he, I, just, I, just I feel like he was mad i feel like he was mad yeah, he was mad but i mean i guess after the fact he found out like he he said he was actually just scared i didn't see that punishment i mean me either it's mm. such a good mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 unless he like you know tied her down and then you know pounded into her but um no, it was amazing. But then he they just, talked. Uh, they was uh, they talked about and it. he just he talked about yeah, it. Like, they did talk about it. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. At least they had the conversation. That's really funny how they can have a conversation about something they're uncomfortable with. Uh, <laughs> <while that's happening. laughs> I'm trying to figure out how she was talking. I was like, girl, because the way they explained how. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that same thing happened when uh, she was mad at him and drank all that liquor. Um. And she oh yeah. Really him why she was mad, you know. 
while they was doing it. I don't, I don't know how to talk about stuff, I, you know. When it's good like that, <laughs> how is your mind able to even, you know? I'm sure he would probably have to, because you know that's how they prolong it. He got to think about something else, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it was a lot of like freaky scenes. Um, that spit stuff. Keep that to yourself. But it was a lot of um. <laughs> A lot, a lot, like a lot. Like every time one scene ended, you might have had a couple of pages and then there they <laughs> went again. I'm like, oh, I love you guys. One page. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like, they were doing, they were doing so much. And it was, I mean, it's like when you're reading it, you're thinking so much time is passing when it ain't. No. <laughs> we say you can get it anywhere, anyhow. Girl, so what yeah, about nice. um two months? Not two months. Two weeks have passed. Mm-hmm. That's when they they did the wedding or the something. They signed. They signed so. their marriage certificate. Yeah, and a week like later. So they, they, yeah, they was married after three weeks. Yeah, after mm-hmm. there you go at three weeks, and he was talking about we're gonna wait to uh you know a month um to even start you know start the process. But it's it's they funny start. how their feelings <laughs> progressed so fast. Um, right you know and she was starting to feel right, every day. <laughs> yeah so wedding day comes and she's all oh yeah she met his friends first after they got engaged she met his friends not that that was cute they were talking about yeah, that was love cute. And love. they like they can't even talk to him when she's around you know because he, he's so uh you know taking mm-hmm. it and i'm like oh my gosh they really love each other <laughs> like already <laughs> and it used to like wasn't even like um something like man we just been together for a little bit it ain't nothing real like it felt real for from like the jump they weren't confused about nothing um that that rabbit meat and deer meat y'all got that hey now yeah I've, I've had i've had rabbit before and i've had like deer jerky it's good yeah heard mm. about it. i've seen rabbits i heard about it too but no i'm gonna pass on that i'm gonna stick with the shrimp and the crab thank you yeah, that crab good too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they had that little boil and his with his friends, and his friends are finding out like that he's like, well, Jari is already new, but Klein didn't know. You know, they yeah, put our head out there, like for him to see. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but anyway, they they get married. They have their their wedding day. What happened on the wedding day? His parents, like not his parents, because his dad. Oh. But his mom. His mom. And his his, uh, brother. his oldest brother. Yeah came down that was so cool that was that was that was very happy very happy surprise. It was like after all that you know that I, I didn't think you know what i mean and they they surprised not only him but her because they just popped us out <laughs> right and while she was about to get ready you know to put her makeup on and stuff for for the wedding which she wouldn't let him see her the night before that was funny um it was like a instant click and i was right. the, yeah when that, you felt really happy for Chanera because she had the mama and the, and the, 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 the sister in law and all that. That was, I was happy for her, yeah. Because you know, I love her, her little sister, though, for real. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like her actual little sister, they go crazy. Um, when uh, when he when she told him how it was perfect, the only thing missing was like her parents being there, and he's just like, We're gonna go see them in two weeks, and do you think they'll come like move here? And, he, and she was just like tearing up like they would love to you know mm-hmm. they like they're gonna talk about it later <laughs> it's just so beautiful i didn't think they was gonna come they would come though i didn't think they would come i thought they would i thought they would because mm-hmm. it's just like they so close they miss their baby girl so much they, like, they've seen her in 10 years like that's a long time um and they're so they live in, in such poverty and like it's, i didn't think that they were not gonna come like I felt like she was she moved to America to bring them there one day. Exactly. It's just that uh, she just didn't get it yet. Yeah. So um <laughs> wait. That 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 wedding the the wedding day, like when they got home after they said their nuptials, why didn't they like go to a hotel or send everybody else to a hotel? Like I thought they this day up. house, they can screw however no. they want to. Not with your mama downstairs and the girl downstairs, and then y'all loud. If they don't care. He definitely don't care. He don't care any. He don't. He don't care. And she didn't care either. But they ain't. They from. Uh, I ain't gonna <laughs> <say>. <laughs> no. 
Yeah. They ain't normal. They ain't normal. I guess that's how they roll. Um, no, they I was like, wait, I'm enjoying this, but there's people downstairs. <laughs> Man, they were so loud, they went outside and then they had to leave. Mm-hmm. They had to go to the store. It was just ridiculous. Oh, okay. yeah, obviously. Oh, and I thought them like, that's okay. good. You, I ain't tell y'all to come here anyway. <laughs> I mean, what you think will happen, right? I mean, I I, I don't know. They could have waited until that night. They could have waited until everybody left. I know. They, they can't wait for nothing. They like jackrabbits. It's like every when the, the jackrabbits the only have sex for a few seconds. They were in there for hours, so whatever. <laughs> uh, they, they might have it for a few seconds, but if it be so often, doggone it. And that's what they were. It seemed like when they get done, they still feeling it. It was like, okay. In an hour, we're gonna be right back at it. <laughs> like, really? Yeah. I don't know how she did it because he huge. Like, how you not saw it on there? She went out with a lot with the um, mom and the the sister in law, and they like really had a good time with each other. And the mom, when he said pay for everything that they was doing, spas and shopping mm-hmm. and stuff, she, she um, ain't cheap well, like the daddy. <laughs> what you say? That's why he got all the millions to give away, cause he, girl, <laughs> <laughs> right? Cause he saved them, so be happy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they they finally get to go to so they had you know had the beautiful wedding and stuff, and they finally get to go to Nigeria to see her family. And, and she tied because it's a long, 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 long flight. Yeah, they tied because he won't let her behind sleep. Y'all was trying to get in there. The, 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 they living in poverty, poverty, honey. That house, he said, the wind blow hard, it's gone. And she didn't know, like, she said they kept all that from her. You know, her her mom's health was deteriorating, but they didn't have enough money to, you know, get the, the proper care. Yeah. Um, but as soon as they got there, you know, and saw the family and stuff, and he get introduced, you know, they got, they already has had some plans behind her back. Yes, I was, I did not know. I thought, like, that only thing that was a surprise was they was coming and they hadn't told her. That's all I told him. That's I'm like, yeah, they, they about to go uh go back to America. Nah. He say, Oh, your family wasn't there for your wedding, so you and I look, it's called Marry Me Twice, and it still it still didn't click to me. <laughs> right? <laughs> I like, yeah. like, this title, I, love him. I thought this title was gonna be like somebody who got divorced who's gonna get married again. That's all I did yeah. not look at anything. And I was like, well, they got mm-hmm. married once. I'm like, okay. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe they're gonna get it annulled and then get married again. <laughs> Like, where is the marriage twice? I was like, oh, because the first time yeah. he said he asked as you know getting his his money, and the second right. time he said he was he made sure he asked because he was really in love with her, and they finally right. really loved each other that first wedding. And I was like, oh yeah, she said it first. Time. She Aww. never had beat him to it, but yeah, I was like, marry me twice. He wants to marry me again, and he did the whole. Nigerian wedding and his family was there. I know. With Kevin, Kevin. And, and, and let him know why he was such an asshole because yeah. he was jealous. Like, all they, those years, which was ridiculous. They didn't think they could have more kids. And then you came and you like this perfect person. And like, like I felt like they was going to leave me. So I feel, I understand because it's like you. Unless they treat you like they don't leave you. Like, I think you good. Why would you think that you was what? He was nine. How old was he? No, he's just well, two years old. I think ten. He was ten when um, he found out. Yeah, when he found out. So, so Haji was eight, and he said they had got to some type of fight, and Haji broke. Um, <laughs> I understand that part. He said that like that was like the day after, or a couple of days after he found out the truth about everything, and he was like, I guess at that point he was. To come for Haji, I don't know. Um, but they got into a little fight, and he actually broke his big brother arm. And he told him that why he was so mad and mm. why he started the fight. But I'm like, I just still don't understand why he treated him like that. And why I, couldn't the, the parents step in with, between their relationship and get that get that right? I think honest, if they honesty honesty would have done it, like just tell everybody what what situation is. Cause I, I think it would have helped Haji. I don't think that would have helped Kevin. Like he still would have. No, I think it would. I think it would. I think it would once everybody knew if they had told him. So I don't think. I, I think it would have helped him. him. Like nobody would have treated him bad because he's adopted. Like I've never, I've never seen like where the the person who's adopted 
is mad. I mean, I guess, I don't know if you find out. But you usually keep keeping it from the one, not a brother or a family member. The person who's adopted is the one that don't know. Yeah. yeah I guess. Weird. I mean, because like he was only like that with Haji, though. Like he didn't act like that with Amaru. No. So I guess because he was already there when he came. So like I mean, that's different. Like you, like somebody else trying to steal your spotlight. I guess. Yeah. yeah. And they wanted another child. They couldn't. You know, they know they can have one. They accepted you, and now they got their own child. So yeah, I, I definitely feel how he feeling. I feel like that's a kid's thing, though. You shouldn't be like that at thirty. <laughs> but at the ten, I could, I could see that. The, the parents should have. The parents should have stepped in to the point where yeah. I want you to understand that you are, you know, you're a kid. It doesn't right. matter what happens, but not to the point where you're coddling this man to become completely dependent upon you because mm -hmm. you won't let him be because you're trying to overcompensate for the reasons why he's there. But if everyone knows, you know, the situation and, you know, y'all, it's just the way the parents handle it. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I'm sorry, they dropped the ball on that. I mean, they know mm -hmm. it, but it's still like, you had a lot of time <laughs> to, to correct that mistake. Um, you had a lot of time to at least be honest about what was happening. But some parents, they don't, they don't take it to their grave. Like, they don't, yes. they won't apologize. They won't acknowledge, like, dude, I was wrong. This is wrong. I should have did it this way. They just gonna let you feel like you feel <laughs> and go on with it. And I'm like, come on, man. Yeah. And I can't believe his daddy died before he said what he needed to say to that boy. Like, what was taking you so long? He uh, he like, pride? like I it didn't, it didn't, I didn't kept it for so long. <sighs> They're grown, grown. They grown, grown. And you still grown, married nothing. with kids. That's what I'm saying. That's what makes me mad. It's like they should have been said something, and the mom was supposed to be close. Like that ain't close. I, like, what you, man, look. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like his family. I don't like that part. That's that's just dumb. It's dumb. Could have squashed all of this years ago. Just because he knew, it don't mean it would have been squashed. I know plenty of. I, it, I think their relationship would have been at a different place, not like non-existent. Because that would have opened Haji eyes to why Kevin was acting such a fool. But he ain't know, he ain't know nothing. He was like, what's up? At the His same whole time. life. The dad, like, even, I mean, you're saying, you're saying that you're withholding, telling him that you're proud of him to help him do more or do better. Or he's, he's him continually trying to do more or stuff to get that from you. It doesn't make him feel good <laughs> at all. Cause you know he like he said, he was waiting this entire time, even for the letter during the will when they read it, he was like, So there's no like good of my accomplishments still. There's no I'm proud of you still. Right. Like, why do you wait until I you you I do what you told me to do or what you want me to do before you can he get uh, it? read it within a year though, because it said that uh he would have got yeah. it. He would have, yes, but at the same time, like all the stuff he said in that letter, he could have said when he was alive. That's all I'm saying. It was, I, I feel like it was no reason for that man to wait that long to say that to him, knowing, I mean, what, he'd been out of college for like, eight years or whatever. I don't know how many years he got his master's or some whatever. But oh. he's done this <laughs> all these years ago. Why still? Yeah. why still like he I think he had plenty of time even if you wanted to wait to after he got his degree and after he was successful in his career he still had time he didn't talk to him at all but you're bragging to your friends like that don't make me feel no type of way oh he was bragging no, to about not at all. how proud he was about you that don't he didn't say it to me so that don't mean nothing to me I don't care right. he was proud to anybody else because I needed to hear that from my yeah. dad yeah so I ain't like that. I don't care if he left him the extra million. I don't care. Like, all of that is it's nice. I mean, the house is nice. Let me have it. But <laughs> that was like, I, I, think, I don't think that was the letter. Like, was, I don't think that was, was everything. It gave him closure that the letter did. It I, did. I really, like, the, the letter, like, I teared up because it's just like you said everything that, that he needed to see. And then it was in your handwriting. So it's like he knew that, you know, you wrote this. Wait, I got it. I mean that he had to take that as closure. I mean there was nothing else coming. That was it. No, it's crazy. Final. That mm -hmm. man could have died when Haji was fifty, 
and that's when he was 50 is when he would have got that letter yeah you know what i mean yeah like, <laughs> or 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 maybe he planned no because how he died was so fast and so quick there's no way he could have like like no so he he planned that like that yeah he died from i didn't know you can have an abdominal aneurysm i thought it was only in your brain um but that kills you like quick and fast and hurry, you know. And so, no, I don't know how that that that's what kills me. Cause like, how long would he have had to wait it if the dad didn't die? Thank I feel like uh, until he had uh, a wife and kids, like he definitely would have been in his uh, grandkids' life. Mm -mm. Cause that was he didn't know that he didn't know, and that was the stipulation. So he he wouldn't. Have, I don't think. However old how you would have got, it still would have been the same way. Because if the dad wasn't gonna say anything else, uplifting or acknowledgement or anything like that, I think. Mm -hmm. And I thought that Chanera mother was gonna die in oh, transport my. back to the state. I thought that too, and I was like, no, 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 please don't. Because they said she looks so fr fragile, or whatever that she, he don't right. know how to make a flight. Oh no! Right, I was like, man, she gonna die. Both of them gonna be missing a parent. I'm so glad she did that. <laughs> she loved her parents. Her parents are so cool. Like I didn't think they would. She, she couldn't do that. I, I, I didn't think that. I guess I didn't want that. So I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think it at all. I was like, nope, not. Mm -mm. But. No. <laughs> and then the dad, huge the wedding. Daddy coming there talking about he was gonna uh what work and find and get a janitor's job. <laughs> yeah. He said, I'm a man. I'm going to take care of me. <laughs> I feel like uh, they uh, call the people like, don't, uh, don't call my God, my, uh, my dad. My, uh, what is it called? Put application in. Don't call dad him. My, don't call him. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah. So he finally did with his ass. He got married. His mom now knows he did propose to her for those reasons that they also right. said right. but it turned out to be real love and she saw that and it was pretty cool that she didn't have to wait the whole six months because she was like you did have to get married but you know i can tell that this is real real right 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 and i i like that everybody could tell like you know because it did i can see how it can seem you know like boy you, you now you get married <laughs> you <can pray> <laughs> <laughs> I had an eye on you <laughs> and you've been hoeing all your life. Right. <laughs> but now that these millions are online, you <laughs> and yeah. you got me. Like he's talking about they don't know what I have. They don't know if I got a girlfriend now. They don't be checking up on me. Your daddy knows. Well, <laughs> you know, that's why it was a stipulation, because you a whore. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, you know, glad he ain't got no kids around here, but yeah. Yeah, he was like, you, you're responsible enough to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish we could have saw that side of him while he was alive. I, I feel like that would have been, you know, because then you like, you get to have your dad for the rest of your life. And now you've got this whole relationship that is everything you ever wanted. But right. it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so he, he got what he was supposed to get. He got his, uh, his compound, because that's what it was, eight bedrooms. It was like 26,000 square feet or something. Um, 2.5 acres. Oh, they got like, five bedroom. Like everybody gonna hear everything. Ugh. But then they got why he, why he he couldn't get them a house? Why they have to live too. with him? I said that too. I was like, why? I thought they, they was gonna leave it live in the uh, Beaumont and they was gonna be in I Houston. That. I said that. Right. I they already had the house. I was like, okay, maybe they'll go move to the compound and then let the family have the house. Yeah, but maybe, maybe they, they want to, you know, be close. Some, but see, some, in some cultures like that, you know, you do take care of your fam, your your parents like that. They like they do live all under the same house. I'm not like that, but nope, you know, I'm not like that. But, <laughs> you know, I don't. I like. I would, stay with I would rather. Day. I would rather pay for my pay for her bills or pay for you know and know that she's good than have us living together. I would I would love for my mother to stay with me if she had no place to live, and that's the only way that she would stay with me. Yes, because I get to she gonna cook, you know she gonna cook. I ain't gotta worry about that there. That's all I want her to do. Cook she might like need that table outside to go have a cigarette, but she gonna have breakfast and lunch, and <laughs> she would be cooking. 
She ain't even got to do all that. She no. ain't got to do that. Just just cook twice a week, ma. That's it. She'll get up before you. Like, wait a minute. Wait. Mom's yeah. Cool. I don't mind. My mom, y'all know, my mom cool in that way. She ain't going to get in your way. She ain't going to get in your business unless you put her in. And she won't let she won't let you take care of her either. Nope. That's one thing. Like, she won't. She don't like that. And I'm like, mm -hmm. man, there's so many parents who are not like that. <laughs> at right? All. At all. They you like, have they to give me that. They depend on oh. Like I, yes, I want you to call me every day. Me. I want I got what if something happened to me today? You ain't call me. Like oh, <laughs> come on. I mean basically that was it. You know, they, they had that second wedding that they had to, you know, go do their thing right after the daggone ceremony. I mean, come on. And he said, I put a baby in you. She's like, I'm already pregnant. Like <laughs> 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 Yep. I been thought she was pregnant though. I mean, come on. Come on, she wasn't on no pill. Did you tell him that? <laughs> He said, "Look, if you ain't on the pill, I know uh, we putting them." He knew. Oh man, that's funny. Um, but yeah, so they got the baby girl by the end. Her, you know, family living there. Her sister is doing amazing in school, and she doing a little something, something on the side with Jerry. I know. Slow it down, girl. We ain't trying to get no kids before you uh, get through with school. Okay, Just wear protection. Do what you do. Now, right. <laughs> have fun, okay? Because she had to take care of her family. Her mom, like, all this time, she hasn't had a chance to live and be free and stuff. So, mm -hmm. go fly, little butterfly. Just have protection. Um, but, yeah, I really I really enjoyed this story. Like, I didn't I didn't know what to expect because I did not read the thing. Because once y'all give me some, we, we, get, we pick one, I'm not reading nothing. I don't read nothing about it. I don't read no reviews. I'm like, I'm just going to go with it. Um. And uh, I just really liked it. I really did. It was a lot of sex. Um, and that was, that was a awesome. whole lot of, a lot of, it, it was it full was, of it. It was still like their love for each other. They were just connected. It just. <laughs> and it wasn't just oh, total in the sex. It, and it did have a good storyline, but it was full of it. It was full of it. That's how you can call it an erotical. But um, like I said, the storyline was good because that, that struggle with the parents and the family and that, that's a lot. And then having both of them, you know, being from Africa and um, I know. yeah, like so they both were dealing with them being there, going to college, doing what they're supposed to do. And then, well, I mean, he didn't need them. His family sent him money. They were already rich. But for her to do right. that. You know how they do, you know, they come here and try to have this light, you know, and, and then bring their family over. Um, I liked that she put that kind of, you know, situation in here. And the one who was supposed to bring the family over was the one who was struggling to even get by. Right. Point. I'm like, oh, right. like it was, you know, it was real stuff. And, you know, she was keeping that from her, her family. They were keeping up, you know, things away from her because they neither one that wanted them to worry too much. I just love each other so much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was really good. I'm glad he got to talk to his mama, even though I still don't, I still don't get it. I don't, I don't think he get it either, but at least they got to talk. And her, yeah. you know, coming home with him after they uh, left, Lag I think, yeah, Lagos, to do all that. I was like, yeah, this will work. And I'm sure he'll see a lot more of them now. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, so, yeah. I think that's oh, yeah. So that made me happy. It's like everything worked out. Everything worked out. Mm -hmm. Even though he didn't have his daddy, like he kind of, he kind of like now officially has his family because he didn't have them. Yeah. Um. So I will give this, you know, ten stars because I like nasty stuff. But uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Look, you. I do too, it. but I, I just felt that it was too, it was too much. I didn't think it was too much. I was, Dwayne, I was like, you know, I thought of it. I was like, hey, can y'all take a break? Like every time I turn the two pages, y'all back at it. How, how is that? How is that possible? Because they not to make us be back at it. You know, they're trying to make they try to make us have babies, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> but hey, it's let's read this. Time for her. <laughs> Catching up. Golly, <laughs> yeah, they done caught up and surpassed, honey. All that, <laughs> right? She been catching up. <laughs> But, um, five minutes is a long time. <laughs> five minutes? No, five years. I was like, how oh. is he taking all of, you know, she's she's really, you know, he found out like they, oh, you nasty. 
Well, she had a might be nasty with all this time, so you know. Well, she was nasty too. She surprised me. But uh finger in the butt, man. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> Get out there. Yep. She liked that too. But yeah, it was really good. Uh definitely five stars. And I loved I loved Chanara. Cause it was like her struggle was her struggle was real. I mean, his was emotional with his family, but hers like she she had this good family, and she just wanted to do you know everything she could for them, and in, eventually she could. Um, but I love the relationship. I hate that they couldn't see each other that long, but that really happens, and that was real. So I love her. She got her man's. Yep, she got her man. She did. I loved it too. I loved. I don't. I don't know if I have a favorite in this in this book. Um, because they both they came from two backgrounds, two different backgrounds. Like you were yeah, saying, did. one was money and the other one was family. So I mean, I guess I like them both the same because they both grew at the end. Yeah. Changed their situation. Both of their situations changed for the better. Yeah, the whole family. Yeah. Go ahead, T. Tell us why. Why? <laughs> All right. I thought it was five stars. I um, I could one hundred percent relate to both of them. Like I got a lot of like of both sides. Like when I was growing up, like I was poor or whatever. Like we've been in shelters or you know, when without food, been hungry and stuff, being evicted a lot. <laughs> So, like, I definitely could relate to her. And I just thought, like, she was just going to have to go home because, like, she couldn't find anything. It was just felt so real. And then for him, like, how messed up his family is, my family messed up, too. So I was like, I felt for him, too. And then the scenes, oh, Lord, the scenes, the sex scenes, <laughs> Jesus. I was like, poof. But, um, yeah, I, um, I thought it was five stars, and I just related to both of them. So I loved them both. And I thought she was strong. And I I love that even though she was going through stuff, she still was like like um what's the word? Like um um I can't think of the word, but uh I her confidence in her like in herself and just like I'm just because I'm down, I'm not about to go do stuff that ain't me. Like yeah. Yeah. I uh yeah, I loved it. It was so good. And the sex things was a she gonna do it again. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, but yeah. Oh my gosh, it was more than sex, <laughs> but it was a lot. <laughs> it was. So if you if if y'all not into all the sex, reading it every couple of pages, you don't need to read. You'll it be anymore. into it by the time you're done. Don't worry. You don't need to read it <laughs> if you're scared. Don't, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Can't relate to the end the condom, but the other stuff <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> well, I believe that's it. Did anybody that's all y'all got them yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm slow, though. No, I ain't got nothing else. That's all I got. That's all I got. All right. So that's agree. all we got. We read um again, it was uh August book of the month. Marry Me Twice by Monica Walters. And we loved, so it. we loved it. Yeah, so that's all we got. And we got five stars. And we'll see y'all next time. Write a review because we got to write ours. All right, well, we out. <laughs>